Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for some moon messages. Today's moon is in the phase of a waxing gibbous phase under the astrological sign of Pisces. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Sagittarius. Ooh, Sag, thank you so much for the love that you show me. I really, really appreciate it. If you're able to resonate with something that's said, just give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. Thank you so much. And today's reading is going to deal with secrets. The first secret we're going to uncover for today is concerning your desires. What is it that you want for today, right now, under this energy? Holy Spirit, Sag, fell right out. <gasps> you got love on your mind. The lover's drops. Some of you have a choice. A choice in love. Some of you have a choice not even concerning love. You know, the lovers is about love. It's a Gemini energy, Sag. A Gemini could be involved. But it's two people here, two birds flying together in sync in harmony. The lovers is a major arcana, major arcana. Mm. There's a passage to love, right? Mm -hmm. What does Sagittarius have as a fear they may be dealing with today? Holy Spirit. Yeah, Ten of Cups, a fear. So maybe there's a fear of never finding love, of not making the right choice in love, of a Gemini that you're in love with. Uh, something concerning love. It's a very emotional choice. You know, sometimes when we make the wrong choice concerning love, we mess up our whole life. This is a big deal, Sag. What? <laughs> So what is the secret weapon for this? And you have six of cups reverse. The secret weapon. Unrequited love for me. Unbalanced. Okay. So I'm getting the feeling with the six of cups reverse. That your secret weapon concerns balance, concerns uh, reciprocity, a give and take, um, finding a love that is balanced with an equal give and take, okay, okay, that's your secret weapon. Who does Sagittarius secretly love, Holy Spirit? Who does Sagittarius secretly love? Tell me something about him. Ooh, a Capricorn. You love somebody who's really not good for you. <laughs> you know, we always want the bad boy, the bad girl. Somebody who's toxic, yeah. Somebody who's not necessarily the best for you. The bad boy, the bad girl. That's who you love. Who do you hate? Who do you hate? Somebody who thinks they have it all. Father of Pentacles. And know it all. <laughs> so, Sag, you're not feeling somebody who thinks that they have it all and somebody who's a know-it-all, right? It's all about me, how I feel. Oh, I've done that. You know, somebody, if you've gone here, they've gone there too and other places. They've always got to top you. Somebody who flaunts their money. They're very materialistic. You hate them. You're just not feeling them today. What is Sagittarius' secret power today? Ooh, you are your secret power, temperance. Look at that, baby. So your secret power is time. It's balance, you know, in love, in uh, feelings, in toxic relationships, toxicity around you in any capacity. It threatens love. Mm. But you have temperance, you have uh, that as your 
secret power controlling you, being patient with yourself, not being reactive to anything. Mm -hmm. And giving time, time. You know, patience is also about time. Temperance. When Sagittarius, this is you, your, this is your major arcana, temperance. You fall and, and you are your greatest weapon. You know why? Because you have total control over you. You're the archer. You're usually right. When you set your intentions upon something, you hit the mark. Usually. You're ruled by spirit too. Birds. Mm. Sight is impeccable. Like you're able to have foresight. Can't be contained. You're always thinking outward. That part of you. Mm. Nine of Pentacles. Very stable. Very solid. That's what's going to keep you grounded. Yes. Okay, spirit. Mm -hmm. So your biggest power is you. What else do you want to tell? Sag. Seek to feel what others are feeling too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you open up with love and being very emotional with the Ten of Cups. I need some water. Wait a minute, Sag. Mm. Your desire is love and your fear is getting connected to somebody who is not emotionally invested as much as you are. It's not reciprocal. It's unbalanced. And who you love, you know, <laughs> that's what they bring. You know, you love the bad boy, the bad girl. That's who you're attracted to. You love the one that fuels other addictions that are just no good for you. Things that are just no good for you. We know that. We don't need to spend too much time on that. Right, Sag? Right. And, and what you hate the most is people who are very materialistic, you know, all about the money, fighting over money, over things that will pass, things that have no value, think, people that can't grow. But the only thing we can control is us with temperance, right? Temperance and the Nine of Pentacles. But while you're controlling you, always remember to feel what others are feeling. Always remember to express empathy to others. Okay, Spirit. Is there something else you want to tell me? Let's look at love for Sag under this waxing gibbous moon. There's some refocus, redirection here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, being in control of you, you know, you are your secret power. And that's all about you being free. That We talked about that. Taking control of your life. Controlling you. That's just clarification in love. You have to remember that too. We can only control ourselves, right? And somebody will align with you if they're equally as free. Feeling like you. Right? You two are going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They're... You know, this is about you coming into line with somebody who's like you in love, who feels the same way that you do. I feel spirit is telling you these are signs that will tell you you're in balance. Whoa. Yes, yes. They'll tell you that you are in balance. Conversation is your weapon, is your secret, is what you need to give time to, conversations, getting to know each other. That's what's going to allow you two to go deeper, uh, reveal things. Yeah, I just see you being you, your free spirit self, and that results in you just, you two are going to just naturally converse a lot you're going to find out you have things in common it's the little things that are going to attract you tell me more spirit tell me more about this love that the, you two just start talking <laughs> yeah you two just start talking to each other the conversation's light it's honest um 
And it just starts to go deeper and deeper because it flows. You talk about past relationships, a breakup that occurred, um, how you felt. Yeah, you get to some real deep, honest conversations. Uh, how you've changed, how you've gotten to where you are. You two are able to talk about your healing process. It, it gets honest and it gets deep. Uh, Mm. It gets deep, like you two really get to know each other through honesty because you have no reason to hide anything. Yeah, you start to uh, have breakfast, coffee, dinner, and then you begin to savor the time that you two are together and you feel this friendship developing. That's that bond deepening. Yeah, talking, it's all about this conversing. You have like three cards talking about conversing with each other, being honest, being open, letting it flow, talking about where you are and how you got there and where you want to go. Mm. All of that's allowing you to enjoy time with each other. What else do you want to say for 1111 on the clock? Whoa, I love it. Oh, tell me more. Four. Sag, about this love, about love, about this period. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Tell me more. First card, tribe. Yeah. The, you two are so alike. You know why? Because you come from the same tribe, the family. That's why it flows. That's how you're going to know <laughs> that you two are balanced, that you feel equally the same way. You've had some past situations that align you for the future. Yes, you know, we're in fall now by, by winter. I think uh, there's going to be a different tune being seen, being sung. That's like Christmas, uh, New Year's, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you seductive you know you're all about wands talk about sexual attraction i i'm kind of feeling the conversation gets so much attention first of all you give it time very mature i love it and it gets so deep and it gets so real and it gets so honest and it gets so raw and you're revealing yourselves to each other and then the passion ignites and the seduction begins. This is what I feel. Sag. Oof. And it's like winter. It's winter. So you two are like huddling 13-13 on the clock. Whoa. This is it. Look inside of yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. Yeah, these are feelings you want to harness. You want to hold on. You want to be able to bring this back. Make it reoccur. So examine why you're feeling this way. What about this person is causing this passion to ignite? It's cold. It's a cold night. There's a cold night also, which requires some warmth. And you two embrace. I, I see it. I feel it. Ooh. <laughs> you close your eyes and make a wish. And you tell yourself that you deserve to feel what you're feeling. That's why Spirit says, examine the feeling. What is causing you? Who is causing you? All of it. Mm, you are so in control. Look how good you look. And this concerns love. This opens, you opened up with love. Look where we're going here. Your eyes are closed and you know you deserve to feel the way you feel. And you can allow yourself to feel like this under any circumstance. Yes. That's why Spirit is saying, it's not so much this person. Um, it's you. It's you. Mm. It's not that you're passionately, seductively attracted to this person. It's you. He wants you to see past the physical 
into looking inside yourself and examining all of the things, not just this feeling that have led you here. See, this examination is deep. It's deep. We're going deep here. It's not just about the passion and the sexual attraction that you feel, but he wants you to hit the brakes probably on that, knowing God, God and examine all of the things that you went through to get away from the toxicity, to understand balance is controlled by you. You bring the balance. You decide how far someone's going to go and when to apply the brakes, you know. And you're the one that had the confidence to control by controlling you to allow conversations. Because you're so free, open, and you allowed somebody to come inside and boom, you two started to hit it off spending uh, coffee breaks together, turning into dinner, you know, talking, 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 honest. That led to some healing conversations. Mm. And then you started to feel something deeper. <laughs> if you haven't, I feel this is coming up. This is like energy that could be for the next two weeks into the holidays, into the winter. So this can happen anytime. You know, that's always one thing that we cannot predict time exactly when. I don't care who tells you that. That's not true. Only God holds time. Everything is in divine timing. <laughs> All right. Sag, that's what I have for you. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Thank you so much for all of you who have already done that and who have supported me up to now. I really appreciate all the love that you have given me. Until the next moon phase, Sagittarius. Namaste.